Hey, what's going on guys? Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. All right, super excited about jumping into this video. Another part of the Law Entrepreneur Series here brought to you guys by Equip, Echo, and Stable. All right, I'm over here in Grand Rapids, Michigan with... Jake's call you on. Okay, what is up guys? <laughs> How are we doing? How are you? I'm a little tired, I'm working a lot, but we're we're just going at it, keep pushing, keep grinding, keep hustling, that grass, make that cash. Hey man, we, uh, we just got done doing a podcast, we'll leave a link in the show notes if you guys want to check out that. It was a good 55 minute podcast with you and your dad. Yeah. That's awesome, man. Alright, so we're going to just let you take it away. We're going to do a little trailer setup here, we've got the enclosed trailer, we've got the truck, all the new shiny equipment. Um, before we jump into it, give these guys like a quick two minute like highlight, like who you are, where you're from, what your business looks like. So I am Jake Beering of Jake's Quality Lawn Care. Uh, started out just me, push mowing like every other kid. Decided to take it to the next level, got a truck. Uh, you actually turned it that way real quick we got for the, that truck. The brown truck over here. Great truck right there, but needed to upgrade a little bit. We got a 60 inch uh, laser. 48 inch Viking and then a new 2022 Vertex things amazing uh, But we got a Neo trailer here 2022 model 18 foot car hauler uh, But you got a little bit more room in the front because they don't count the V nose. Okay, we'll get to that later We have a 2020 f350 in the front pulling and I guess we can get into inside the trailer now, right? Well, give me the, the two minute synopsis, how oh, you got right, started right. in the industry. Yeah, cause I mean, you don't just wind up here, eh man? Oh well, yeah, no, <laughs> maybe, who knows? One day. So start out every other kid mowing neighbor's lawns, uh, decide I wanted to do lawn care instead of working at McDonald's, 9.50 an hour, minus tax, whatever. So I started growing 20 lawns first year, 40 lawns second year. Uh, it just kept growing, ended with 60 lawns last year, about at capacity 110 this year. We'll work on that, get rid of some of the extra driving time, Get just get more density, that's key. But yeah, I've been working great. Huge step this year, hired my dad full time, quit his job. So your lawn, dad works for you? Lawn care is the whole family business right now. That's awesome, man. It's honestly crazy. And then a couple of part-time guys working with you? Yeah, we got a few of my workers, uh, friends, school, you know, getting whoever you can get right now. All right. So you didn't just start with this though. Give me, uh, what was your first mower, your first, uh, cause we're gonna do a whole trailer walk yeah. here. You're really excited about that. What was your first mower? Uh, what was your first trimmer, blower? Like take it all the way back four or five years ago. So first mower, push mower, just lawn boy fanatic. My dad helped me out, just hooked me up with one. Uh, I got a standard Shindaiwa trimmer. Okay. Not, not a crazy one, just a regular homeowner one. Uh, then we got, I don't even know what blower, just a little handheld Echo, 10 years old, something like that. Uh, first upgrade was a 2016 48 inch X Mark Viking. Okay. So a little walk behind, great on hills, still use it to this day, no major problems, just great success with it all like all around. Uh, next purchase was a 2018 Laser 60 inch, thing works amazing, also by X Mark, love X Mark. Uh, we got a 8010 Echo, so that's our first big backpack blower, works amazing. So much power in that thing. Uh, but then we upgraded to a 9010 Echo, which is a little bit of a story there. We'll yeah. get into that in a second. Yeah. But we got some more Echo 2620, the handheld with the trimmer and the edger. Two trimmers, one edger. That's what we'll run. We'll show that in a little bit. But, and then we this year we got the 2022 Vertex, you can see in the back right there. Works amazing, great on hills, great on smaller lawns especially. It lays down amazing stripes. So you've just been reinvesting like crazy the last couple years. Yeah. So this is not, no mommy and daddy's money. No. We always joke, uh, but this is all of your money. This is sweat equity, this is hard work. All right, let's roll through the, the trailer setup, man. Yeah. Take, take me uh, through a little loop here, what do we got? So 2022 Vertex in the back, easy access, use it the most. Uh, thing works great, we got the Ballard shoot blocker on the side little extended handle so we can reach it and not have to do some weird wonky like reaching over and falling off <laughs> sure. kind of stuff. Sure. Uh, over here we have the equipment defender racks with two uh, trimmers here, it's 2620 and then a 2620 edger there All right. in the middle. There you go. And then over here we have our 9010, also equipment defender rack and then the 8010 just behind that. Cool. So they work amazing. Make sure you keep them locked though. We had them unlocked once, got an old 8010 stolen right out of our trailer. What? Never got that guy. It was terrible. That's but not cool. we got donated this 9010 by an amazing YouTuber. I don't know if you guys know him. Brian's <laughs> Lawn Maintenance. Great guy. 
Well, I saw that on Instagram, and that's not cool. So I uh, was able to spot you one, but yeah. that's uh, that's a whole other story. But, but we keep stuff locked now, so there's there's no getting this stuff when, as long as it's locked. If we do our job correctly. Amen to that. So as we make our way over here, climbing over the vertex, here's our Laser Z 60 inch. Works amazing. No major problems with it thus far. Uh, it's on for some reason. Also have the Ballard shoe blocker on it. And then in the front here, we have our 1980 Lawn Boy. Hey, there it is. A little beat up, but it works amazing. Super light. You can take it where like anywhere you want. Hills, you can just lift it up easy. And then here's the original, the 48-inch uh, Viking X Mark. Yeah. Works amazing. Keep it in the front here because we don't use it a ton. We like using the bigger stuff whenever possible. And yeah, it's just, this whole setup has been working really great for us. Especially me working every day, easy access, you just take it out. Yeah. That's awesome, man. So how many lawns are you guys cutting uh, right now? You said about so, 100, 110 weeklies? Yeah, 110 weekly. Few vacation modes we do every now and then, but other than that, going great. If you look up from Fortson. Hey, look at that. You got the rest on the ceiling. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Oh, wow, that's awesome. Uh, I love the uh, Echo, by the way. They're one of the tour sponsors, so you yeah. seem like you have a lot of stuff by Echo. This uh, couldn't plan that even uh, if I wanted to, but <laughs> so what, what are you rocking with these guys? What's the, uh, the skews on these ones? So, Echo so, 2620s, I guess? Yeah, they're all 2620s. We have we mainly use this one down here just because it's a little bit easier access. Don't want to like, reach up as high. Yep. But we love using them. They work great. Don't bog down like at all, especially if we're doing just regular mowing and stuff. A lot of regular trimming they work great edger amazing keeps working just keeps going uh even like huge stuff like huge we're taking off like six inches at a time which okay is great yeah rob has that exact uh well we have that same edger rob loves it he's yeah. my right hand yeah. man so that's awesome um equipment's looking great man so you didn't just start here um give me give me a couple of quick tips before we uh show maybe the trailer and the truck but Talking about where you're at today, give me give me a two or three minutes here, like some some helpful tips for somebody who maybe maybe they want to get to where you're at today and they're 10, 12, 14 years old. How have you got here so quick? I mean, this is seems like an overnight success, but it's been five or six year journey. Yeah. So one reinvest. That's how I've gotten here. I have I've still taken out money for myself, do fun things, go like amusement parks, stuff like that. But just keep reinvesting. That's what I've done. That's how I've gotten the Vertex this year. Mm -hmm. uh, another thing, stay organized. That's a huge deal. Being able to pay employees the right amount, not paying them too much. You lose money, not paying them a bunch. They get mad at you. They quit. You have to find a whole other guy, train them. Just lost time. Again, with the lost time, keeping jobs on track. Know when they're, like, they're going to be done. Know when they're completed for sure. Uh, so customers, you can just show them instantly if they have any questions about that. Uh, yeah, I think those are my main two. Let me ask you this. Um, how are you getting customers these, these days? Uh, referrals, yard signs, no, no right or wrong answer. So originally started out with networking. My dad worked at our church. So many people there, great people to work with, local. But the main thing for us was Google business. Set up a Google business account, that part's free. Uh, spend a little bit of money for a Google ad. We got like 20 calls a day. Wow. Turning people down left and right. You can, you can like narrow down where you want to take people, where you don't want to take people, get people in the right neighborhoods. Otherwise, neighborhoods you want to really hit hard, yard signs, go door to door. Uh, yeah, I think that's the, Google business was the main thing this year. That's how we went from 60 last year to like 110 this year. Holy cow. Well, that's awesome, man. Good for you. Hey guys, it's Brian. Really quick intermission here. I got to break it up and just say a quick thank you to the tour sponsors, which are Stable, Equip, and Echo USA. Super appreciate those guys. Hey, by the way, are you guys enjoying this tour here with Brian and Jake? These guys are incredible. I'm telling you what, Jake is one of the funniest, coolest dudes that you guys have ever met. And you know what? He is kicking butt. That being said, can you guys do me a quick favor can you guys thumbs up the video and maybe leave an encouraging word or comment down below in the comment section i know jake would really appreciate that i know if it was me i would really appreciate those kind words as well i love kind of thumbing through all those comments later in the day probably just like a lot of you guys hey that being said i wanted to just say a quick plug here for echo and all the equipment that those guys have from their 9010 leaf blower to the tried and true echo 2620 trimmer some of the best products out there that being said if you guys need some great new equipment it, maybe consider echo go to echo-usa.com also if you guys are going down to equip check out their indoor and outdoor booth by the way 
promo code Brian saves you guys 50% at registration. I'll leave links of all of that down in the description below. All right, guys, well, we're going to jump right back into the video here. Two last quick things. One, we did an amazing podcast with Jake. I'll leave that link in the description on Apple iTunes. And then also, if you guys are enjoying this whole playlist and series, I'll leave a card and an end screen at the end of this video so you guys can check out the rest of the great guests in this Launchpreneur series. That being said, let's kick it back over to Jake. Take it away. This enclosed trailer setup looks awesome. Uh, what's the name of this one? Uh, a Neo trailer. It's Neo, a car hauler. Neo car hauler trailer. Okay. Well, let's do a little uh, exterior walkthrough uh, of the trailer and then also the uh, the truck. If Unless you got anything else here you want to show, but this is, a, this is an incredible setup, man. This is really awesome. You got to yeah. be really proud of yourself. I, I think I am. <laughs> there you go. All right. Well, uh, here, let's check out the, uh, the exterior. So uh, we were talking on the podcast, a bunch of trailer tips and trailer talk. Uh, make sure you guys check out his podcast here on the Full Extent Unfiltered. Show but, the back. Um, yeah, go ahead. Flip it up. So we got a single latch here. Works amazing. The latch is actually on the inside when you're looking at now. There's no nothing here like with the... The teeth. Yeah, the teeth are on the inside. You can't really open it unless you have that. So you put a lock on that, it's going to stay shut. But it works amazing. It's pretty easy. It's a little heavy, but it's got spring loaded, so it helps you out a little bit. We got the main back here, phone number, all that, all that jazz, you know. Yep. But I love we, that you have these like heavy-duty hinges too. You got. We have like never used those. Although you got the drop jack. Yeah. Well, this is if you're loading anything super heavy, like yeah. maybe you throw a tractor or even a car in there. Yeah, but usually if it's attached to the truck, it's not going to go anywhere. There you go. There you but go. That was just like a precaution. We had no idea what it was going to be like. But as we walk around, we have some vents here. Usually we'll have these open that way, so we take air in here, and then on the top we have two vents. Don't know if you can see them here, but we'll show them those in a little second. Yep. Uh, so main logo here, we got the grass going around the whole way. I like that. So, yeah, just that's just how our logo goes. So yeah, I think on the other side, if we walk this way, yeah, I got you. We have our fuel doors, so when we go to the gas station, we can just open these doors up right here. Now this is actually freaking awesome, dude. Check this out. So a little dark in there right now, but we do have lights inside the trailer. They work great as long as the trailer has power. Sure. But other side, main logo, another fuel door here. Works great. This is great. so freaking cool. I, I wish my trailer brand SureTrack had these because uh, then you could just fill up your gas cans or fill up your mowers while you're filling up the truck. Yeah. So those work great. Save us so much time having to like take mowers out, fill gas cans, fill the mower, having to fill the gas cans. We can just fill the mower straight up from right next to the pump. Works amazing. That's awesome, man. Good for you. Yeah. So here is the truck, uh, 2020 F350. We have the logo on the side. Uh, lo yep, logo again. Uh, single cab built for a snowplow setup. We have a 16 foot back back wing from Ebling. Works amazing. Got little lights on the edge so you can see where it is in the like middle of the night. Yeah. And in the front we have a nine and a half foot uh, DXT from Boss. We haven't had a chance to use that yet. Got the truck right as the snow stopped coming down, but we're really excited to do that this year. That's awesome, man. Talk to me for just a couple quick seconds. How are you able to manage school and work? Because I know that's one of the questions that um, this whole video series, I'm trying to help teenagers get started in the green industry. So right now it's uh, late, late July, we're putting this video yep. together. What about uh, April, May? What about September, October when you guys go back to school? So that, I am in school still. I am full-time school. I'm not homeschool or anything like that. Go to a great school. Uh, I have employees working for me. Blessed enough, we have my dad working for me full-time now as of this new year. It's crazy change. But the lawn care business is like the full provider for the family as well now. What? So he is working while I'm in school. With that, he can also do a bunch of legal stuff that I can't do to my age. So since he is over 18, believe it or not, <laughs> he can do more fertilizer stuff. He can handle the taxes for me, more office work that I usually don't have time to do because I'm doing the lawn work outside. Okay. So it will go from me to school and then instantly to work. If there's any to be completed still, he'll be working while I'm in school. And yeah, it's been going great so far. Only had spring with this new setup with him working while I'm in school, but we're excited for this fall. That's awesome, man. All right, man, so we're gonna button this thing up here. Let me ask you really quick, um, any takeaways or pieces of advice that you can give to other young guys out there that are just starting in the industry? Because let me just put it like this. This is an awesome setup. Most guys at 30 would kill to have a setup like this. I know you're working hard. I know you're reinvesting, but what what were some of the things that you know you had to punch through or work through to, to get here and to you know, make it to where you're at uh, today? 
Uh, as I said before, stay organized. Make sure you like can keep your regular life handled. Me with homework, friends, having outings like that. Mm -hmm. uh, make sure you're not missing work. That's where people will come at you, probably quit on you. They don't want to like have it sitting over their heads for three months. Okay. So keep stay organized. Uh, that includes all the money and stuff. Otherwise, get as dense as you can with the lawns together. We are losing a bunch of time on driving right now. If I believe that we could get closer to 140, 150 next year with one unit if we have better driving time, because on a few days we're just driving maybe like 30 miles total in a day, which is just absolutely insane. Okay, okay, cool. Yeah. Um, well, where can people find you, man? Because uh, we really appreciate the tour. Like I said, we did a podcast earlier that uh, we'll leave a link in the show notes. You got to check it out. It was a really good time. Uh, but where can people follow you on uh, Instagram and YouTube? And uh, we'll wrap it up. Jake's Quality Lawn Care on Instagram and YouTube. No videos yet on YouTube, but hopefully in a few weeks or something, when I have time, we'll get some on there. There you go. Well, uh, hey, before we wrap this thing up, I got a quick gift for you. So follow me real quick, my friend. We got some cool stuff that is a gift to you. Uh, can you grab one of those red stable bags? Yeah. And then let's do this really quick. We'll, uh, we'll do a little unboxing here. You don't. This is all a surprise. You don't know we're doing any of this. I don't know any of this. Uh, oh, look at that. Oh, that's super fancy, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> so uh, three of the sponsors on this tour are Echo, Stable, and Equip. Yep. So Stable one to send a little swag bag. Uh, here, come on this side for me. All right. That way, we're not backlit. Uh, but this is all you. This is a gift from those guys. So you can uh, do a quick that little. Sick. Quick little unboxing. What do we got here? Shirt here. Stable. Another shirt here. There you go. I'm so good at showing the logo and stuff. <laughs> it's like some carburetor. carbon choke. Yep. There you go. It's more blade guard. This stuff is actually really awesome. Add this to your chainsaw or your hedge trimmers. Okay. Keeps everything clean and sanitary. All right. That way you're not uh, tracking diseases from plant to plant. Some small engine treatment looks like. Yeah, the running joke on this video series is that I have no idea what this does yet. <laughs> so put that in something and let me know how it works. All right. <laughs> I'm just having fun. <laughs> All right, we got some fogging, fogging oil. oil here. Yep. Got some fuel stabilizer. There you go. Got 360 protection. Awesome. There you go. Got a hat in here. For I know stable. you're all about your hats. Yeah. Okay, you got the Jake's Quality Lawn Care. Inspired by the 2021 GIE hats. There you go. By the way. Yep. Or the stable one for now. Yep. And what's this stuff? Uh, ceramic Pro Guard. Uh, that's uh, like a covering that you can put under the uh, mower deck or on a snowblower. Nice. There you go. That's yeah. all the stable stuff. Okay. And a pen. That way you can uh, start writing all those uh, invoices that you said you were behind on. <laughs> oh, some pamphlets. I don't know. I'll, I'll get ahead of them the invoices eventually. There you go. We'll, we'll get it eventually. There That's, you go. Yeah. <laughs> do the work. Don't collect your money, though. Now you yeah, sell like yeah. Brian's all maintenance. All right, really quick here. Uh, one other thing. If you want to grab uh, one of those orange uh, Echo boxes, they sent me a couple leaf blowers for you young guys. Awesome. So I know your team Echo. Uh, this is PB2620. Do you have a handheld leaf blower or anything like that? We have an old one, so this will come in handy. We need to update. That one is brand new. That is for you. Uh, these things are dope. I actually have this at my mom's house. Great for cleaning off the property. Maybe you don't want to throw the big old 90-10 on, <laughs> uh, on your back, but you can just grab a quick handheld, blow off the lawns, and uh, you're good to go. But that's worth like 150, 200 bucks. Perfect. So that's from uh, the folks over at Echo in uh, Lake Zurich. Thank you, Echo. That's awesome. Hey, one last thing here before we button it up. Equip wanted to, if you're going to go back to Equip this year, they're going to comp your registration okay. and give you two free classes that are worth like $170 for their education. That's perfect. I'm planning on going as of right now. Well, there you go. Uh, if you guys want to register, we got a link we'll leave you in the description, save you half off. But uh, like I said, Equip wants to get behind the education and the community that all of you young guys are investing in yourself. So if you want to go to the like swim spa and uh, the swim and spa, you know, track or the uh, the different classes and education yeah. they have, we'll get your info, we'll get your email, and uh, they're going to comp you two uh, education tracks Perfect. down there in uh, Louisville, Kentucky. Sounds good. I can't wait. There you go, bud. All right, man. Well, thanks again for the uh, opportunity to uh, see your whole rig and uh, keep the hammer down. I got you, bud. <laughs> all right. We'll look forward to catching up with all you guys here on the next one. All right. Thank you.